Hi, I am Satya studying BTEC fourth year at GRIT. I, along with my three friends, Spandana, Madhuri, Sri Ramya, have been working on our main project, User Input Pattern Based Authentication Method, to prevent mobile e financial incidents under the esteemed guidance of Mr. Govind, Associate Professor and Head of Department, Mrs. Anuradha. With the help of this Android application, we proposed a novel approach to prevent e financial incidents by analyzing the input patterns of mobile banking users, such as how long it takes a user to input data into a mobile device and the normal finger pressure levels when using a touch screen and distinguish the differences between an original user's usage pattern and an attacker's usage pattern. The purpose of this project is to prevent the e-financial incidents from hackers by analyzing the input patterns of mobile banking users and provide secure authentication to bank customers. There are many applications at present that are focused on fraud identification instead of fraud, uh, fraud prevention. Our application shows high accuracy and is effective in preventing e-financial incidents. The user logs in for the first time with the username and password given by the bank authorities. The user credentials are retrieved to check whether the user is an authorized user or not. After that, the user is asked to reset the password given to him by the bank. As we are showing the output in an emulator, the pressure is zero. When the user logins with his or her new password for the first time, the input patterns such as the time taken by the user to enter the username, password and the finger pressure level when he touches the login button in a touchscreen mobile and are taken for four times and are stored in the database. This is the second time we are entering the username and password. And this is the third time. And this is the fourth time we are entering the username and password. If the patterns match, the login is successful. If the patterns doesn't match, a security question is flat. The authorized user answers the security question correctly and login successfully, whereas the unauthorized user can't. Here we get our security question as the patterns did not match. If the, once the login is successful, we enter the home page where it consists of four options namely balance inquiry, transfer funds, last five transactions, checkbook request. When we opt for balance inquiry, the net balance available in our bank account is displayed. When we opt for checkbook request, an alert is displayed which shows that the checkbook will be provided within 6 days. When we opt for last 5 transactions, the last 5 transactions will be displayed. When we opt for transfer funds, we can add a new payee to our account or transfer money with the existing payees. Already existing payees are as shown. To transfer amount, select the desired payee. After selecting, we need to enter transaction password, tra transfer amount and description for successful transfer. If there is no sufficient amount in our account, an alert of low balance is displayed. 
To add a new payee, enter the details such as payee name, account number, nickname and bank IFSC code where IFSC refers to Indian Financial System Code. To confirm the addition of payee to our account, we need to enter the URN number that is unique recognition number that is sent by the bank to our mobile. We have provided session timeout for every 30 seconds to ensure safety and in order to implement this application in Android mobile devices, we need to place the database in such a way that it is accessible to all the systems or mobiles on a distributed network. So we we have used public IP address of a company and stored the database there. Thank you.